Horse is loading. Final runners enter, field in line. Track here for racing. Seven and a half furlongs the trip. They're off. Kazirian is the one wobbling out at the back. Also coming away slow toward the back of horses. That's a kissing Audrey as they have run past the intersection and Master David is now setting those fractions up front, chased by Dazzle Girl, overtaken narrowly by Darker Samanda. Dazzle Girl now running in third as they leave the sixth. In behind those, Wagon Wheel is some seven lengths off those leaders, followed up by ANS Express. These are strung out a bit. War Hero toward the outside of runners. Kissing Audrey racing on the rail, just on her outside, that's Ian's goal. A gap opens up to first of all. Tracking Eskimo almost alongside him, then Lemonade a further length and a half down. Coincidental Kazirian, and at the back, it's Star Ruler. That's the field as they now blast past the 7th, 16th, and run the turn for home. Darker Samander on the rail coming up now to challenge uh, Master David for the lead. There goes War Hero in the yellow cap, and War Hero slips by them as they leave the three and now takes charge up front at the 5-16th. It's a War Hero. He's strolling out in front and opening up the gap as they turn for home. War Hero with a clear lead and the rider motionless at the moment. He's clear. Ian's goal is toward the outside getting cracks of that stick. A wagon wheel is more toward the far side. Lemonade right over from the far rail. Kissing Audrey had to be switched toward the center and Star Ruler is the one in the golden red stripes toward the extreme outside but catch War Hero if you can. They've left the furlong point Wagon wheel trying to do it down against the fence as they're inside the final 16th. Ian's gold is trying to run on also on the outside. War Hero shutting off. Wagon wheel coming with that charge. They've gone by. Close. Could be War Hero hanging tough over Wagon wheel. Ian's gold. Star Rule Lemonade. Kissing Audrey. In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of today's second. 14 War Hero, a three year old Bay Gelding by Burning Mark, almost president by Rail Quiet. Red Triple M distributors, on Donovan Hutchinson and Von White, trained Patrick Taylor, the rider Robert Hallidine. Second, four Wagon Wheel. Third, nine Ian's Gold. Fourth, 15 Star Ruler. Fifth, six, Lemonade. Running time, 1,500 meters, one minute, 35 and four. Nora Lakins asked to go now to the racing office. Nora Lakins wanted in the racing office. And your attention is called to the winner's enclosure. For a presentation of gift packages to the winning owner, trainer and a groom, kindly donated by Cal's Manufacturing Limited through their premium quality Cal's Bulk Syrup. Making the presentation of a gift basket is Mr. Vincent Mitchell, principal of the Bogwalk High School. He makes it to Von White, owner of the winner. He'll also present a gift voucher for three bags of high pro feed. 
And presenting the high profile will be Mr. Hugo Douglas, representing Cal's Manufacturing. He presents to the winning trainer, Patrick Taylor. And Patrick Taylor will also collect a six-pack of Real Vibes Party Wine on behalf of the winning groom, Patrick Samuels. Result now official. First 14 war hero, $138 to win, 58 to place. Second four, Wagon Wheel, $50. Third nine, Ian's Gold, 110 Fourth 15 star, Ruler. Horses are taking the track for today's third. It's a Cal's Spring Water Juvenile Stakes. A restricted allowance two for native bred two-year-olds a distance 600 meters straight. Number seven best director, the weight 51.5 kilos. Wagering offered on double. Exacta, Quinella, Trifecta and Rolling Triple. Nine minutes to post.